Hello and welcome to today's really important and urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis that I have for you as Bitcoin is making its way down towards that big $20,000 level. We are ready and waiting for this drop. I will tell you the exact short trades that I am in, why I am in zero longs yet, waiting for lower, holding on to these shorts. I'll be going through my major targets now to the downsides and how we can be looking to trade this over the next few days. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention, pay full attention to all of this video and everything that I am going to be telling you because the information is absolutely crucial that you understand. So without further said or do, let's get into what we love and that is trading. So ladies and gentlemen, obviously we can see Bitcoin has had a major move to the downside in the recent weeks, okay, all stemming from that $47,000 rejection forming that local range, breaking that range to the downside. And since we broke that range to the downside, it has been non-stop selling. What is a few of the things that we have recognized during this downfall It is that the move down has been very powerful. The open interest in is increasing to the downside. We are seeing a lot of high negative delta. This is everything within the order flow that we're looking at to recognize signs of weakness. And th during this whole move, there has been massive signs of weakness, e.g. massive red flags alerting you, do not long yet. Do not long yet. There's no long opportunity in terms of a swing trade because of the massive weakness that we are seeing to the downside. I want to remind you of the one and only level that I gave in the last YouTube video to the downside, and that was this daily. It was a big $23,000 target that I've had since $69,000. Few things that I said in that video that I'll remind you of is during that video, I said, while we were at the current price, I am looking for downside. If this is the low, hey, I'll miss it, but I believe we're gonna go lower. Why? Because of the real big weakness in the order flow. I did say $23,000 is a significant level for me, but that does not mean I'm gonna long it blindly. I will check the order flow. Okay, but look at this, that really important key daily level. Let me show you what has happened since then. We come down, hit the level, lost the level, back tested that exact level as resistance with another great move to the downside. Now, look at this. Okay, so this is where we're spending a little bit of time on the daily level. Okay, and this is where you have to, this is what separates the, even the intermediate trader from the, from the professional that really has a good grasp of the understanding of the order flow. I want to share with you the posts here for educational reasons so you can really get into my brain and understand what I was thinking, why I'm making these trading decisions because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much spot on most of the time. And that was inside of the new trading channel for the coaches only. So each coach now has their own trading channel. There is no confusion to be had in here. It's just really simply, this is what we're looking at. This is what I'm doing next. And as soon as we come down to that daily level, as soon as we come down to that daily level, I'm updating my team on my thought process. And that is with the open inter interest increasing with the negative delta as we come into that daily level, which is showing weakness and the stock market crashing, personally, I am not long yet and will wait for lower. At the moment, only in short trades and waiting for lower. So you can imagine, imagine having this update, you're debating coming down to the week, you know, you're coming down to this daily level, really big $23,000 target. You know, you might be in this thinking, oh yeah, no, Dan, you said this is a good, good target, shall I long this? And then I come in plain as day saying there's massive weakness, be careful of the order flow, I'm not gonna long this, I'm in shorts and waiting for lower. You're probably gonna be thinking, oh yeah, I might think I think I might do the same. And that would have obviously been the best decision you could have made because we did go lower. We did go lower. Over the next few hours, we made a new low. And then what happened? That one key level that we had was back tested to perfection. You could not have got a better short entry than that. That is really simply that support flipping into resistance. Look at that, madre mia, that's perfect, perfect, perfect. And for the people that aren't in the champions group, because this is obviously just for the champions group, you have the questions where you can directly ask questions about this. You can have access to all the coaches channel. I mean, we've just done upgrades after upgrades after upgrades in recent weeks. This is a loved channel. But if you don't hunt in the Champions Group, I also posted this on Twitter for free, alerting people. You know, here's the sneak peek of the channel. I'm not going to give this out every day, but you know, <laughs> there's massive weakness. We're waiting for lower. I'm not longing the daily. <laughs> Use the order flow for your advantage. So did give that out there as well. Okay, and then I wanna just really briefly talk you through this section of the chart, and then we're gonna move on to what's happening now and what I'm looking for next over the next few days here. I just wanna alert you. Let's say that you missed the short. Let's say you missed this short position, and let's say you, you 
are just wanting to trade the charts like I teach. That means there are long opportunities and short opportunities to be had here. Yesterday, yes, I did take two long positions, okay, and two short positions actually. And I'm gonna talk you through these now briefly. The first, really simply, was from low to high. We come into the CC, we took this low, was on the daily point of control, okay? This is naturally a good long position. Again, I'm talking for the day traders, the scalp traders. And what happens here is we form this really nice harmonic. So we go from high to low, we come into the CC, and we get, obviously, a bounce. This is where I'm talking about the long position of the scalp trades. Why? Previous day point of control, daily point of control, we saw the... Um, taking the, the lassos into the CC, okay? Then we start to form this amazing harmonic. Fibonacci from high to low. We come into the CC once more. You can start to see here, CC pretty much running the market. We come up into the CC, and it was not just the fact that we were up into the CC resistance. We also, each time, we're forming these amazing bearish CVD divergences. Like yesterday, Bybits, I'm telling you, get on Bybit, look at their order flow. It's absolutely amazing. Like that, it's just crazy how, how accurate this is right now. Every single time, it's just giving wins. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing when you think about it. But we come up into that CC, look at the massive bearish CVD divergences. It's really, 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 really really big okay so that's something to pay pay attention to well what happens next we obviously go from high low to high cc high to low into the cc so what are we looking for then we obviously have got our harmonic that's from low i'll draw this harmonic for you now this is from low to high to low to high and you're looking for this low and you want to see how accurate this harmonic is Okay, this was the prediction that I posted in the group. This is where we're looking for, around that 21,300, okay? So 21,300 is the level we're looking at. You can see that's exactly where we're putting the, in the low there at around half 10 UK time. So we put in that low, and then where did we bounce up to, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna show you this on the charts now, but it was right into that CC. Okay, so I'm gonna take a, a Fibonacci from C to D. And look at that, into the CC, we know each time C, 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 <laughs> harmonic target. And what did you have on top of this? You had this massive bearish divergences again. So I'm just referring you to here to this. Look at this, lower high, massive higher high. Look at this 43 million new longs opening into daily resistance, ladies and gentlemen, into daily resistance, 43 million new longs opening. Okay, we come down to the CC, we see another bounce. Here we see 17 million new longs opening. Here we see 10 million, here we see 20 million new longs opening into the CC resistance. We're coming down and we're seeing another 14 million longs open. The longs are going crazy. The longs are gonna get wrecked. They're longing into the CC. We come down, we come down to our harmonic target. We hit the harmonic target and we see 20 million new shorts opening. Guess what? This is eye opening to us thinking as traders, this is a good opportunity to push it up from that harmonic target. Okay, push it up from this harmonic target. Let's get a little bit of a squeeze, get rid of those late shorts before another drop to the downside, guess what offered at CC? And what happened here? We move up to the CC target and another absolute crazy thing, another 10 million new longs opening into our resistance. So each time we are given this opportunity of a long, okay, into a short into a long, into a short. You, you, you can, I really just truly hope that you can see what I'm trying to tell you here. You do not need to know whether this is going to $10,000 or whether this is going to $40,000. At the end of the day, we're here on the day trades. We're here taking high probability trades without thinking of the bigger picture. We think we've got a trade in front of ourselves. We've got a really high probability. That's giving me longs. I'm not scared to take a long. I'm not scared to take a short. On this long, I done my take profit one at the CC, got stopped on the rest of the trade. On this long, off of the harmonic, I took a long, Take profit one at the CC, I got stopped on the rest of the trade. But at pivot C and this pivot, I took two short trades. So I was left with two long trades, two short trades. The long, obviously take profit one, stopped out. Long, take profit one, stopped out. This short, <laughs> hit take profit one, recompounded at this CC, okay? So it's like, you're just opening yourself up to being in a really, really, really good winning position. If you're opening yourselves up to longing in this market, shorting in this market, just trading what's happening. The probabilities are high. The order flow is extremely helpful. Once again, this is the order flow down on the lower term time frame charts, as well as looking at on the higher term time frame to recognize when to take a trade and when not to take a trade. You know, really early on telling my team, do not yeah, I'm not going to long the daily. You can do what you want. I'm not going to long that daily. Recognizing it's the only level on the chart. You see the back test perfectly. You see the CCs here getting respected perfectly. The order flow just absolutely perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I just really hope you can see what I'm teaching here. Every single day is just working, period. It's absolutely amazing. 
And there's one thing that I want to uh, just go on to now before I cover what's happening next. And that is the fact, you know, a lot of people are always like, oh, Daniel, why are you talking about Bybit so much? Like, I love the Bybit order flow. I love the Bybit exchange. One thing to bear in mind that when we were coming down to that daily, yes, of course, Binance went offline once more. We have this running joke within the community, things that are guaranteed in trading, that when there's big volatility, Coinbase errors and Binance offline, that actually happened on the 13th of June. You could not make it up. But yes, Binance went offline and decided to pause all the Bitcoin transactions just as you're hitting that daily. Like, come on, like, what's going on here? Think about it. Uh, but I want to just do a really quick announcement, and that is I have, uh, obviously I'm doing, oh, you may not know unless you're in the Champions Group, but I'm doing a new thing of 25, started with 25 Bitcoin just two weeks ago, and this is already now on over 50 Bitcoin. So we're already over 50 Bitcoin here. And uh, so this is, this is pretty good trading, as, as uh, I think you can agree. 25 Bitcoin to 50 Bitcoin in two weeks. Why am I telling you this? Because we are ready and waiting now for the World Series of Trading to be starting. So if you want to join the Bybit team that we have overall here, I'm going to leave this in the comment section down below. Okay, obviously over on Discord as well. The Bybit World Series of Trading Competition. If you want to join us, we're going to be the winning team. I have no doubts about that in my mind. Um, yeah, come over here, sign up using the uh, links that I'll put in the description down below. Create an account, join our team, and get ready to win some money with us. This is obviously the $8 million trading competition. If you want a reminder of how to join this exactly, watch the video I released a few days ago. It's really simply here. Here are some of the instructions. I'll leave the link in the description. Let's try and get this to over 1,000 people within our team. That'd be absolutely brilliant. So give this link to your friends, give this link to your family, give this link to as many people as possible because we want to get a thousand people in this team and we're going to absolutely crush this competition. I mean, you can see for yourself some of the trades that we've been doing over the recent days doubled an account in two weeks. I mean, we're, we're doing good. We're doing very good indeed. So uh, I have real massive high confidence for winning that training competition. We'll be taking home the million. So if you want to have some free money in our team, and even if you finish like 1,000th place, we're in the money, you're going to be walking home with some money too. So this is a great opportunity, um, you know, to put your skills to the test too. Join our team and just have an absolute blast of us. This is going to be very, very, very fun indeed. So uh, that was the one and only announcement that I wanted to give you. Now I'm going to move back over onto the charts and tell you what I'm looking for. So I think I've made it very clear. I've had big targets since $69,000 of 23K, but guess what? We hit 23K and all we saw was weakness. There was no longs for me and I'm still not seeing a long trade now. What I'm looking for next, I am in shorts only. I have no longs on Bitcoin, shorts only. And I'm waiting for either a sign of strength or lower. Okay, so we have a few key levels on this chart. If I add back on the key level that I had marked out, you can see we have a few key levels to the downside and a few key levels to the upside. We have obviously the daily and, and around 23,700 as resistance. Then we have obviously, well, the big psychological 20K, where we're going to be looking for that swing failure pattern failed auction of $20,000. I think that's really key uh, to the lower weekly to the lower daily that we have here. So we have a two lower boundaries of support and two upper boundaries of resistance. And then currently, obviously, the big $20,000 psychological level. So you can imagine what people are doing here, like longing stop loss below $20,000. Probably a lot of people thinking of this is like a good trade. For myself, I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking, hey, if somebody wants to do that, fair enough. But for me, that's not a high probability trade. There's one factor. I'm not a one factor guy. I'm a three plus factor guy. And, you know, I'm going to wait for high probability trades. Yeah, I'm looking for at least two, three, four, five levels of confluence. A long here with a stop loss at 20K is not a high factor of confluence. Again, if I miss the low, I'm not bothered. I will happily long on a sign of strength. You know, like yesterday, I longed here, I longed here. I'm waiting for high probability trades. Longing here is not a high probability trade. Yes, it can go up, but I feel no connection with that trade. I'm not going to take that trade. I'll happily say if it bounces from here, for example, I'd have to see some sort of strength and maybe I'd get in on a reclaim, okay, of this last current range. But for me, long in here is not a high probability. Again, that does mean that you're going to not take as many trades. It means that you might miss a trade. But guess what? It's going to protect you at times like this of taking poor trades and losing money unnecessarily. That is not what I'm in the game for. I'm in the game of making money <laughs> period. I'm in this, I, I trade to do this, to, to grow an account at a crazy quick rate. And you cannot do that <laughs> unless you're taking high probability trades. Ladies and gentlemen, just pay attention to what I'm saying here. 
Okay, so personally, I'm going to either wait for that swing failure pattern of $20,000 or the failed auction. If we don't get that, then we're going to be looking down to the weekly. Uh, and then, of course, just level to level trading. Uh, for me, I think that's absolutely key to do right now. If you want to um, if you want to be looking for those longs, I think the reclaim of the prior range is, is, is in my opinion, key. Again, if you want a long here, then... At the end of the day, this video is not financial advice. So of course, you can long here, put a stop loss into quite 20K. But I mean, I think this is a common trade. So you might want to take some care. I think looking for at least a reclaim is, is arguably the better idea here. But again, people can do what they want. Um, so yeah, this is my analysis. It has been really, really quick, but I hope that you've um, understood what I'm on about. If you smash that like button, smash that like button, I'll actually give you a live stream. A live stream, uh, let's say maybe tomorrow, um, if we get over, let's say 3,000 likes. So smash that like button. If you want to see more from myself, I do have another live stream tonight. This is a live stream for the members. So uh, yeah, I've got a live stream tonight. If you want to see that, you can come over to chartchampions.com and check that out. That is going to go over the re and redistribution pattern so a really good live stream obviously yesterday eagle had his first ever live stream as well um on the um going over the forex and stock markets you can just see we're adding so much a new addition to the live streams from week uh, eagle every week the new trading channel updates you know we're just pumping out so much stuff into the community i've got another live stream tonight and i'll end say one more time if you want to join our team here come over to the link down below join the world series of trading competition and grab yourself some free money along in our team so that's going to be an absolute blast ladies and gentlemen if there's any urgent updates that i need to get from here i'll try and post you know obviously the the free ones over to to Twitter. So um, yeah, I'll just say thank you ever so much. I hope that you've enjoyed today's analysis. hope you've recognized why we wait for high probability trades, why we're looking at the order flow precisely. And um, yeah, CCTR <laughs> sends their regards or CC Paul says their regards, but the CCTR is doing magic right now. Uh, so yeah, thank you ever so much. Smash that like button and I'll catch you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love you all. And I'm just going to end this with a massive smile on my face because I am loving the trading right now. Thank you, everybody. Have have a good day and that's me signing out and goodbye <laughs> of course actually i'll end with one final thing <clears throat> and you can probably guess what that's going to be and it's going to be the legal disclaimer of there is no financial advice this is education entertainment video only understand that and i love you goodbye <laughs>